when I got this done, it was fine. Like, let me tell you a story on that. We were going to this guy, a $5 piercing, $5 piercing day or whatever. Me and my best friend. And it was kind of sketchy. It was all the way, like, on the other side of town. Um, in Decatur. Or, yeah. And I was like, oh my god, do I really want to do this? And I was like, well, shit, it's $5. And I don't want to spend $50 for someone who can do it for 5 I know, I'm very cheap, y'all. I know this. I'm, I'm learning. When we got there, it was a long line. And I was, we made a lot of, like... Little, you know how you make friends in line, like at the grocery store or something, and then y'all become a little close. Well, I was talking to one of the ladies, and they were like, it's never been this long, so I don't know what's going on. And I'm like, well, bitch, it's long now, so what we finna do? <laughs> we got there literally around like 7.55. I didn't get in the chair until 12 o'clock. And, um, that's insane. He had a made he made a separate line for people with, who would pay ten dollars. So they they're like in a, like a flash pass, but they were moving at the same price, like I mean the same speed. So I was like I'm just staying the five dollar line, and you know what I'm saying. But um, I got there and this girl actually did it. It wasn't him. It, I guess it must have been his wife, girlfriend, or whatever. I don't really know. Um, she just went in and did. It. I was like ooh. She didn't dot me up or anything, but I mean, luckily, because I was going to be hella pissed if it didn't look right, it looks really nice, and it has the little double ball thing in there. Yeah, there'll be a picture of it soon. It's still healing. I clean it, you know, every day. About that. Cleaning. Um, when I first got my nose done, before I got it re-pierced, I cleaned this and my ears three times a day. You think I'm lying, I am not. I did it when I woke up, I did it when I came home from classes, and I do it before I go to bed, or once I get out the shower. Or, you know, I just made it work. You know, that was the last thing done before I had to touch my pillow at night. Then, after I switched to the hoop, which was three months later, I kinda got lazy and I did two a days for everything. But I stopped cleaning my ears when I switched to the hoop because they're just earrings on my lobe. So there's no need for all that. When I got my septum done, um, back in the end of May, I got, um, I cleaned it twice a day. Am I lying? No, I'm not lying. Okay. Yeah. Because when, right after the septum, it was the cartilage, so I didn't feel the need to continue, like, um, cleaning so much. I was getting kind of annoyed. Like, I'm tired of the pain, tired of, like, the pus and the oozing. It's like, even when I cleaned, it still happened to do so, or, like, something would happen. So I decided just to do it, like twice a day or once a day like it's, it definitely got done every time I woke up but some days I might like skip but that's like once in a blue moon or yeah and if I'm feeling really you know bored and have a lot of time at night then I'll do it twice a day my advice clean it at least twice a day like I know they say things about over cleaning it and under cleaning it but I don't know I feel like if I went too long without cleaning my piercing especially the cartilage it would crust up and it would be in pain, even to move. Like, in the beginning when I got my piercing, it would hurt. I could not do this months ago, okay? Someone would hug me, I'd be like, oh, bitch, like, it would hurt. And I'm so glad that I've come so far. I literally was gonna take it out. This is the one piercing I was gonna actually take out because I was like, there's no way it should not hurt like this. I used to have my septum up all the time, but I, like, the ball keeps falling off. That's one thing that kept pissing me off. I don't know if it's from rubbing my nose, and cleaning it and sneezing it and shit, because it was, like, up there, like, it was, inside you know and um i don't even think it went all the way in um so i have to when i get new balls <laughs> lol then i'm going to flip it back up but um, for the time being since i'm broke it's gonna stay down so i use this seesaw i bought what it all that so i bought that type of seesaw and i'll put that with more you know lukewarm water or whatever with some witch hazel i got this from my Publix or something like a long time ago you can find witch hazel everywhere. Obviously, the, it's not clearing up or whatever, but you, y'all know what witch hazel is. And I mixed it with tea tree oil because I saw in one video someone used like tea tree oil on their skin. And so, like, you put the salt and the warm water. Is the thing doing it? Oh my god! I just learned something about this camera. Okay, um, tea tree oil, obviously, what I use. Piercing, well, only piercing and stuff. So I would mix those three concoctions together, and it took away dark circles, especially the witch hazel. Definitely um, made huge jumps and making my face look better and kind of back to normal and looking cute like this. I think that's about it. Of course, my mom found out. She like was pissed about everything. Every time I get something done, she's not happy with it. My dad, on the other hand, is like 
oh my gosh, you know, you're expressing yourself, that's cool, or whatever. So, he was fine with that. I don't think I'm getting anything soon. I wanted to get the industrial again, or get one on this ear, but I am thinking I'm gonna give myself a break. Um, but that's basically everything. At the end of the day, I feel like however you express yourself, do that or whatever, obviously, I don't care. I hope I answered a lot of questions that people asked about my piercings and why I got them done. Basically, it was just for the look and for the time being and because I, I want to give off that type of like, you know, aesthetic. Um, look at me using big words that I can't even spell. I'm kidding, I can spell aesthetic, kind of. So if you have any questions about anything, I'll probably do a video on that. Um, or questions about anything, I'll be sure to talk about that regarding to my piercings. I don't really get into personal life because it's none of y'all's business. But, um, yes. <laughs> I hope y'all like this video. If you do, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that great stuff. Alright, and if you are already doing those awesome things, thank you so much because you keep me going and you are my motivation and I love you so much and I will give you my firstborn. Probably not. <laughs> I hope you guys all have an amazing week, um, an amazing school year for those who are going back to school or wherever you're going to. Um, so yeah, thank you, much love. Hey everyone, today we'll be talking about, uh, it's so weird talking into like a camera, I'm like expressing myself and so the words keep jumbling and mumbling, like damn, can I, can I speak, can I speak, okay.